Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Dr. Mulberry. So today in this video, I will make the hand scaling instrument easy for you. So today we will talk about all the hand scaling instruments so that it will be easy for you for their identification and where to use them properly. The common instrument between hand scaling and hand cutting instruments are the diagnostic instruments. So here I have two diagnostic instruments set, one for the teacher and one for me who will be showing the work to the teacher. Okay, so in the diagnostic instrument, as you can see, we have this mirror. Obviously, without a mirror, you are nothing like I'm talking about the dentist. So yeah, the mirror is used for direct vision, indirect vision, illumination and also for retracting the cheeks and also this area is used for percussion. Next, we have this explorer and the shepherd's hook which is basically used to detect the caries and also to detect the calculus which is present in the margins of the tooth. Next, we have this periodontal probe which is known as the Williams probe. In case of periodontal probes, I will talk about it after I finish these diagnostic instruments. So, I will talk about it with more details when I will talk about the periodontal probes. So, this one is a Williams probe, one of the diagnostic instrument and also a periodontal probe. And the last one in this diagnostic instrument is this tweezer with which you can just carry the cotton and remove any debris like the broken calculus which you have just removed with this tweezer. So this is all about the diagnostic set. Now let's come to the periodontal probes. Now let's come to the periodontal probes. So basically periodontal probes are of many types but here we will just show three which is the mostly used periodontal probes. The first one here is a very common, you have already seen it in the uh, hand cutting instruments, that is a, oh, oh, focus please. So this one is the Williams probe. Different probes have different markings. So Williams probe, as you can see, it has 10 markings where the markings are absent in the region of 4 and 6. The next one is a UNC15 probe. As you can see, the markings here, that is, they are present from 1 to 15, where there is color coding in every 5 centimeter, sorry, millimeter, that is 5, 10, and 15 millimeters. And the third one I have is this Count Neighbors probe. Now, Neighbors probe has a marking from 1 to 12 millimeter with color codings at 3 and 6 millimeters. Neighbors probes are basically used for measuring the focation areas. And all the periodontal probes are used for measuring the pocket depth. And especially the Neighbors probe is used for measuring the focation area depth. Sometimes probe is also used for detection of bleeding. If there is bleeding on probing, then it can be a case of gingivitis. Now comes the most important part of this video, that is the hand scaling instruments. So here I have these six hand scaling instruments. After that, I will show the root planing instruments. So let's start with the first one, the sickle scalers. So here I have sickle scalers in one end and the anterior jacket scalers in the other end. You can just appreciate its shape. It is more like a sickle and you can also differentiate it from the anterior jacket scalers with its angulations. 
next this is an universal scalar and on the other end we have this cumin scalar this is particularly used in the palatal surface or better to say the lingual fossa of the maxillary incisors the next one is a surface scalar you can appreciate how flat it is it is used in the flat surfaces basically to remove the stains it has a mesial end and a distal end the last one is a posterior jacket scalar you can just appreciate how much angulation is there so that it can reach the posterior surfaces which are very hard to reach and you can just appreciate how it differs from the anterior jacket scalars it has in only one plane as and this one as you can see it has more angulation right so this is all about the hand scaling instruments now let's move on to the root planing instruments since you know that root planing is very delicate it should be very delicate than the scaling so for root planing we do not use the sharp scalers instead we use these curettes which have a blunt end this is one more identification feature uh, or you can see it is a differential feature between a scalar and a curette a scalar as you can see this one is a scalar i have put it here it has a very sharp pointed end whereas this curette has a very blunt end again are available in the market in various sizes and various shapes but here i only have these two curettes one is the 2R12 and one is this 4R4L. 2R12 is basically used like it is not a rule but it is usually used for the anterior surfaces and this 4R4L which is smaller than it is used for the posterior surfaces but as I have told that there is no specific rule for it. In parts of a scalar like the cutting instruments this one is the handle this is the shank and this is the cutting edge and also if you do a cross section of this scalars you can see there is a triangular shape these are the lateral edges this is the face and this is the tip all right so this is basically an introduction video about the hand scaling and root planning instruments. I hope you have found this helpful. If you have found this helpful, then please give it a like. Do subscribe my channel for further more videos and comment down what I should post next. Thank you for watching.